There may be no one individual more responsible for the success and influence of CAS CIAC than Michael Savage. First as a teacher and principal in Litchfield, where he served the organization and its various committees, and then as assistant and then executive director, he oversaw remarkable growth and changes in CAS CIAC that expanded the organization's reach and value to its membership. His efforts built a foundation that has continued to serve the students of Connecticut and leaves an indelible legacy of success and achievement. As a high school principal, I got very much involved with CIEC and uh, got on some of their committees and uh, worked myself up uh, into uh, leadership roles in, in CIEC. And then the golden opportunity came about where I had an opportunity to uh, uh, apply for CIEC position and when I did, I received it, and it's all history from there. You know, Mike, Mike Savage is CAS CIAC. The, the organization that exists today, uh, it would be here, but it would be different because he's, he's foundational to it. So the, the big juggernaut was to find ways of making the organization financially stable so that it would be existing in a two or three years down the road. The major uh, goal was to take the sports that we had and reorganize them in such a way that we were able to stop the financial drain and build upon that and improve upon the programs that existed. Also focus in on girls sports in particular because at that time there were uh, girls were not being provided the same opportunities as boys so we worked at that and we were able to enhance that so that I think at the present time we have an equal number of girls sports as we do boys which it should be so he's not uh, he's not a me person he's a we person uh, he's not so attached to his idea or the outcome that he sees that that he's blind to other options my my greatest accomplishment as executive director uh, was being able to go out, first of all, having the, the trust and the confidence and the freedom of various boards of directors to go out and scout out the best talent, administrative talent in the state, and uh, try to get them on board to uh, serve the association in various capacities. He gives his employees autonomy, support, uh, and conveys, uh, not in a rah-rah fashion, uh, but his belief that, uh, that you can accomplish great things. And, and, and you know what? People, people live up to those expectations. We were able to uh, take an organization that was a high school organization. Uh, and we expanded it to uh, over time to be a K through 12 organization with a heavy emphasis on uh, leadership activities for school administrators. We, uh, we promoted uh, through the uh, support of, of Bo Doherty and uh, Special Olympics, the Unified Sports Program, which is probably the most thing most dear to me. Uh, we started to serve uh, an element of kids in our state that uh, were never being served at all. You know, Mike. Mike is uh, first of all, he's smart. You know, uh, he, you know, in intelligence uh, is 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 fundamental. I think. Uh, secondly, he 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 works hard, uh, and uh, you know, when when the hardest working person in the organization is the leader, that's that that's a pretty good thing. Any successes that I may have had, and I'd like to think that we have had a few over the years were because I had the freedom to manage an organization. I was able to encourage my assistants, my colleagues to come in and uh, provide the leadership that was necessary to get the job done. Mike is one to deflect credit and uh, you know, he's, he, he wants other people to take credit. He doesn't want to take credit himself. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that he can't avoid it. Yes, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm obviously, I'm pleased. Whenever you're recognized by 
uh, an association for the work that uh, was done by the association. It's 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 an honor. <laughs>